Hello everybody. So today we got a new laptop. It's called Dell Inspiron 15 7000 series. Okay, so let's take a quick look. It comes with some paper menu. Okay, so I turned it on and uh, let's take a quick look. So first of all, the screen is uh, it's a mirror reflection screen. I believe it's a it's a touch screen as well. So that's why they make it like a mirror like so it's easier to move your finger around the screen. So the edge uh, seems okay. The plastic frame okay so the metal like uh, face on the keyboard side and the keyboard got the black light on the keyboard so the key seems okay to me okay just a regular and it got the big touch pad as well so yeah the touch pad looks good okay so finger feel is uh, good to me as so far okay so it got the uh, Intel CPU I believe this model got the i7 CPU inside so let's look at the logo uh, it's multi mode so the screen can be flip over and got the touch display so it's a touch screen touch screen so you can use your finger to operate the laptop so sometimes it's convenient okay and uh, it has a USB type C and uh, got windows some feature 15 display is a big display warranty okay and this side seems uh, more like a metal feel and uh, turn over here the side A has a big logo in the middle of the machine okay at the back we there's a logo as well and a couple of screws and I don't see a detachable battery so you cannot untouch the battery easily so and this set got one USB and one SD uh, slot and uh, three buttons to control the volume and uh, power this side front side has no plug there's no plug slot at all and uh, left set let's take a look so another USB and uh, HDMI and also the ear plug okay so here's the and uh, this one a little bit heavier to me it got 5.9 pound according to the spec Okay, so it's a, as I said, it's a big laptop. It's a 15 screen, so I think should be okay. So the power charger seems using a new one, according to the others. So this one comes with the Windows 10 Home Edition, and it got the Intel i7 CPU, 12 gig memory 64-bit uh, system is a huge uh, memory Windows 10 let's take a look on the Windows index score so memory score so CPU 7.8 memory 8 graphic 6.3 and uh, gaming so disk is 8.2 so uh, seems to me this one come with a SSD drive okay here's the flip over for the screen so you can use as a tablet okay so this is kind of advanced 
Okay, let's put some summary on this laptop. Okay, let's take a summary on this laptop. So it's got a fancy CPU. It's i7, 2.5 gig Intel i7 CPU. So it's a good one and uh, come with the Windows 10 Home. So be careful. It's a if you are using this laptop as a business laptop, so uh, it doesn't come with Windows 10 Pro. So usually you need a Windows Pro to join the company's network. Okay, so it does got a big memory, 12 gigs, so it uh, should be enough for most of the multiple task uh, peoples. Okay, so. Hard drive, one terabyte is a big one, and uh, okay for most uh, situation. And uh, I got the wrong feeling. So, is this hard drive is a hybrid hard drive? So it's kind of built in some SSD storage inside the regular hard drive. So it's a uh, faster than a regular SATA hard drive, but it's slower than SSD. It's kind of in the middle. So. And the graphic card is uh, just a regular office use graphic card, Intel HD Graphic 5 360 and the Wi-Fi adapter seems uh, a good one. Got it supports the latest technology, uh, 802.11 AC. So some other different uh, feature than most other laptops, it's got the touch screen with the uh, flip over tablet mode, so you can flip it over in some situations, it's helpful. And uh, got the SD card reader and HDMI output for as most of other laptops, and uh, it's got USB Type C port, okay? So, but some other feature maybe is not shipped with this la laptop let's take a look so this one doesn't have a dvd rom i believe most uh, recent laptop they don't have a dvd anymore so dvd is kind of uh, going out to the market but another one i need to highlight this laptop doesn't have a ethernet port okay so usually ethernet port is helpful especially when you are in a company network or in some other situations so this one doesn't have one so uh, just uh, take your choice no finger reader it's okay and also it only has two USB port other than that USB type C so only two USB port okay so if you have more than that you might need a USB hub and uh, another thing is battery is not detachable so even though from the other people's review they said battery life is uh, quite fancy okay I didn't do that test it takes too much time so but it's not detachable okay so and also this laptop doesn't come with a number pad keyboard so in some of 15 inch laptop i can see they usually shipped with a number pad uh, keyboard so sometimes it's helpful when you type in a, num a lot of numbers okay so and also this laptop doesn't have a mac input i believe most laptop doesn't have one as well Okay, so keep this uh, in mind and uh, make your choice. Okay, let's take a summary on this laptop, what I like, what I dislike. So the good is got a flip over screen with tablet mode uh, in some uh, situation is uh, a good uh, use. And got a touch screen, so you can use your finger to operate uh, Windows. So, especially in Windows 10, it's a touch screen friendly OS. And meanwhile, it got a good CPU, it's i7 CPU, and uh, the external surface, as uh, external faces, is uh, good to me. It's a kind of metal like, 
so even it got a little bit heavier and uh, yeah this is the good side of this laptop for the short side and um, yeah I believe it's kind of by design for example it's just a shot of some a port like the Ethernet port and uh, some others as mentioned in my earlier um, spec summary so anyway that's the the bottom line is it's a kind of a modern laptop for the current uh, home users so yeah thanks for watching have a good day bye